All right, everyone, back here with another video. So today I want to react to a video. It's a clip from like an exchange from the uh, question period the other day where it was Andrew Shear for the Conservatives versus Karina Gould. And let's just say it got pretty interesting. So uh, Andrew Shear posted this on X and says, Justin Trudeau would prefer that Parliament grind to a halt rather than hand over incriminating documents to the RCMP. Justin Trudeau is not worth the cost or the corruption. And then there's a petition there you can sign as well. So I'm going to play this video. It's pretty quick. The volume's not great on it, so I'm going to make sure that the uh, captions are on. Then let's have a look, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. The Honorable Member from Regina Capel. After nine years of NDP liberal government, taxes are up, costs are up, crime, liberal stack covered up. The RCMP and the Auditor General. Sorry about that. One sec. Let me start that over again. My bad. Liberal government taxes are up, costs are up, crimes up, times up, and corruption is way up. Here's what we know so far: the Liberals stack the SDTC board with their close friends. That board makes decisions as to which companies get grants worth millions in tax dollars. The Auditor General uncovered a massive scandal. These Liberal insiders funneled almost four hundred million dollars to their own companies. They got rich. Taxpayers got the bill. Now the government's refusing to hand over the documents to the RCMP for a potential criminal investigation. So what have they got to hide? Yeah. The Honorable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker, again, the House Leader for the Conservatives is uh, completely false in what he is stating in this place. What is true is that the Conservatives have put forward a motion that would blur the lines between the independence of the legislative and judicial branches of government. It is both the RCMP and the Auditor General who have raised their extreme concern with what the Conservatives have put forward. Every Canadian should be concerned about the fact that the first instinct of Conservatives is to suspend the charter rights of Canadians. You guys heard that, right? Again, a Liberal MP complaining about their charter of rights, which they broke they took away from us during the lockdown. And by the way, for those of you who disagree with that, the federal court agrees with me. They found Trudeau guilty for it. Why he's not in jail? Well, because he's appealing it to the Supreme Court. We'll see what happens. I don't think he'll go to jail for it, but he definitely broke the law. So for a literally, like, like, again, it's just confession by rejection. This is what we do. We take away your rights. We try to destroy Canada. And they'd say, no, oh, this is what the conservatives are going to do. It's they're the ones who are doing it. It's absolute nonsense. Don't believe it. Don't believe this for crap for a second. And again, I went to high school with Karina Gould. I know she's not stupid. She's very smart. I know that for a fact. So why is she saying dumb shit? Makes you wonder, don't you? doesn't it? None of these people are stupid. Why are they saying stupid things? from the government, not to protect the government from accountability by the people. While millions of Canadians are suffering from higher taxes, higher prices, and doubled housing costs, all caused by this government, the Speaker has ordered that the House of Commons can deal with no other business until this corruption motion is dealt with, and they still won't hand over the documents, preferring that Parliament grind to a halt. While millions of Canadians are lining up for food banks, liberal insiders are lining their own pockets. So when will the government hand over the documents and when will the government get Canadians their tax dollars back? And for those of you who aren't aware, there's a whole bunch of, like Andrew Shear said, there's a whole bunch of companies that were getting money from the, the liberal government. And it turns out that they were given way more money than they needed to. And they were all like friends. There's a bunch of liberal ties in it. Uh, go watch North, uh, Northern Perspectives video on that. They broke it down way better than I ever could. Uh, go check out their video. It's an insane scandal. When you get into the nitty gritty of it, when you get down to all the details, you'll be very, very surprised. Or maybe not surprised, but just shocked at exactly how corrupt this government is. Because it's the most corrupt government we've ever had in this country. what he is putting forward to this place. Mr. Speaker, what the 
conservatives are putting forward is to trample the charter rights of Canadians, Mr. Speaker. Both the RCMP and the Auditor General have raised their extreme discomfort and every single Canadian should be extremely alarmed by the behaviour of the Conservative members of Parliament who would put their own political interests ahead of the rights of Canadians. Again, confession by projection. That's exactly what the Liberals did. They pushed their lockdown vaccine agenda on Canadians. And if you protested it, they froze people's bank accounts. And she's got the nerve to stand up there in the House of Commons during question period to say absolutely ridiculous bullshit like that. It's unbelievable. And again, she's not stupid. Justin Trudeau is not stupid. Christian Freeland is not stupid. So why are they saying stupid things? They don't believe what they're saying. Are they evil? Maybe. Now, again, I don't want to start throwing around names. I'm just asking a question here. So if any of these MPs ever see it, I certainly don't want to get reported uh, for you know name calling in which they'll take away my freedom of speech, which, again, is stepping all over my charter rights. Look at Bill C-63. That's trampling over your your charter, your free of spe- your freedom of speech rights. Well, it's hate speech. No, it's not. It's speech that you hate. Let's be honest here. It's absolutely ridiculous what the liberals have done here, and they're saying, "Well, the Canadians should be very concerned." Oh, we are concerned. That's why Pierre Polyev is likely likely to get around fifty percent of the vote because we're concerned. And Pierre Polyev is this country's last hope. I mean, if he if he's If the populist right is correct about him, then I don't know what to say because they're saying that he's basically the same as Justin Trudeau. I don't think so. I I don't think there's anything in Pierre's body that could make him as bad as Justin Trudeau. He's not going to be perfect. I have concerns too. But he's going to make things a little bit more affordable and a little bit more safe in this country because that's what conservatives usually do. So I don't believe he's, he's the exact same, but if he's anywhere close to the amount of corrupt that Justin Trudeau is, we're in big trouble, guys. I don't know where you go from there. The other th- three parties are, are a joke. They're led by idiots and cowards. Well, what do you do? It's, it's kind of a scary thing to think about, but let's just let's cross that bridge when we get there. Let's all get out there and make sure that we vote for Pierre Polyev and make sure that we take this country back. And vote in someone who who is at least saying he cares about this country, not some clown communist wannabe, which is a bunch of shady, evil MPs. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Don't forget to leave your thoughts, questions, or general comments in the comments section, as I always enjoy uh, you know, uh, talking with you guys and engaging with you guys. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe, as it really does help grow the channel. Thanks again so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with a new video.